Remember you've only got what two buttons? Yeah. Well actually technically three if you've got one on the phone as well. We won't. <laughs> it's been a little while, we do yeah. apologise. Well actually I apologise. Because it's, well, it's mostly my fault. <laughs> Not all my fault, but mostly my fault. Um, one of my other hobbies is I play with steam engines. And I have a have a quarter scale burrow traction engine and it's been going around some of the steep local steam fairs recently. It has. Yeah, yeah. All the way to the beer tent and back, you know, it's very good. Yep. And the pub and back. And the pub and back <laughs> on the road. On the road, shh, don't tell anyone. Um, but uh, yeah, um, we've had other things happening, family things happening, so, but we're back. We've also started uh, writing my book. Yes. Well, I've started writing my book and Paul helps me out with this. Um, it's going to be a seven day walking trail around Hertfordshire sometimes using parts of the Hertfordshire Way, sometimes using parts of the Icknill Way and where I can neither of the neither of the above. Yep. Sometimes it's hard to miss the Hertfordshire Way because it's the most logical route from A to B sometimes but you know, it's nice to revisit the old haunts. So it's a seven day walk but we're throwing in lots of history into it. History of the pub. We're using pubs as way markers. So yeah. it's going to be pub trail Hertfordshire. We're actually starting day three. We've done two days. We've done Royston to Baldock, Baldock to Stevenage. And then went today, we're actually doing Stevenage to Nebworth, which if you looked on the map is only about four miles. <laughs> but this is a, a 13 mile yeah today i hope you enjoy coming with us it's more of a yeah we're on the flight path into uh, luton here we're um don't know whether you can see it in the background we're just outside norton green which is a little hamlet to the, to the side of the a1m just the other side of stevenage so we're heading up towards um preston not in lancashire there's a, a preston in hertfordshire um, very nice pub there and we'll tell you a little bit about the pub when we get there because it's, it's actually quite historical and so is the village as well I've discovered. <laughs> Look it up. I'm looking it up, I'm looking it up. So this is what, this is, this is what we're doing, I've, I've written it out but then I'm double checking so I'm guessing where we're going to go, there are signposts when I, I'm going to put the signpost descriptions uh, in here and then edit the document. Um, so for instance here we're coming, we've come along a byway and then the byway goes straight or it goes right. So we're going to take the fork to the right. And conveniently, there are things like signposts. That one's not very descriptive, but some are. Some will have footpath, number, blah, 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 half a mile to whatever. But uh, things like that I'm adding in, in, in to help people not get lost. So we're turning right on this byway here. <clears throat> and if anyone's ever wondered why we kept, I, particularly me, keeps looking at my phone, it's not because I'm, I'm on social media, but we actually use the OS app. I've got a GPX plan route already plotted out, and we check we check the route. It's, this is actually called Kitchen Lane Track. I don't know whether you can see it on the camera, but this is an ancient trackway. Look at the ditch down there. And that is not a drainage ditch. This is a, a ditch to the side of an old, very old trackway.
Signpost. So we're coming up to pub number one of the day. This is um, this isn't a very hilly day, but this is the biggest hill up on the day. So even I can manage this one. We've got about a mile and a half into Preston now. A little bit of road walking into yep. Preston now. Oh, is this the well, Tim? Yeah. I need a... I need a picture for the book. This is the original village well. But this village... Uh, I've been doing some research on it. Uh, the village here was effectively founded by the Knights Templar. Wow. So it, it's a bit like when we're... Bulldog was as association with the Knights Templar, but so does Preston. So uh, it, it dates back to the Knights Templar. This I'm trying to find out more about that, but it's quite tricky to find information about the Knights Templar, believe it or not. But that is the original village well. So probably having a water source here may have been a, a good reason to build a village. Indeed, yes. In the first place. So.
Czekamy. Czekamy. So this part of the Berry Estate, Jim? Yeah, it is. And this is going to take us past uh, Stagenhoe, which is part of the estate, and takes us up to St Paul's Walden. Where the Queen Mum was born, and yep. now must belong to King Charles. Yep. So, we had to, didn't we? What, the pub research? Pub, we had, we had, yeah, this is a pub trail, so we've just been past one of the pubs. So we had to go in there to do some research. <laughs> That's my excuse. That's your, actually, it was your excuse. Though. It was my excuse, was your yes. excuse. Yeah. So, uh, what was the pub? Strathmore Arms, St Paul's Walden. Yes. And we now know why it was called St Paul's Walden. Yes. Walden was an old name, but after the um, Henry VIII did his demolition of the monasteries and things like that, the ownership of the land went to St Paul's Cathedral. So it became St Paul's Walden. Things you didn't know until you, until you started walking and researching. And uh, so I just got distracted with the red kite up there. <coughs> um, yeah, huge amount of history in, in, in this one little village, actually. Which actually, technically, is it a hamlet? What's the difference? It doesn't have a village hall. It hasn't got a village hall, has it? Yeah, it'd be a hamlet. So technically, it's a hamlet. But uh, a, a, not a lovely... Yeah, it's only got about six houses, a church and a pub. And that's it. Yeah, and quite a famous church as but, well. Yeah, the church is um, where... The Queen Mum was... Well, she was probably born on the estate. Yeah. And baptised there, and so was Queen Elizabeth. Yeah. Baptised in that church. Yeah, Queen Elizabeth was baptised in that church. Yeah. And it's kind of a... I think it's kind of a family church for the royal family. They do, they do visit it every now and again. What wood is this? Reynolds wood. I think it's actually quite an ancient wood actually. I've seen Munt Jack in here before now. Yeah, was this where, back in the 80s, they were exporting Monk Jug back to France? Yeah. They were all but extinct in France. There was a small colony in, in Hertfordshire. Another one of conservation successes. Yeah, it's really not that rare to see Monk Jack now, is it? Not, not round here, no. Keep smiling. We're doing this for the fun of it, huh? Yeah, so 
credit's due, where credit's due, this is a conservation area right next to the field. And the reason that farmers put a sign up is saying, please walk. Next to my crop. Next to the crop and leave this long grass for the wildlife. Yeah, we, we, we complain about bad farmers even not putting paths in but that, that that's spot on isn't it yeah it's keeping this area all this area here the, heart, the entire side of the field for what for wildlife and wild animals and whatever will grow in there wild plants all sorts so no spot on for the uh, for the book we're adding in to the descriptions of the walk the footpath signs so hopefully it'll help you not get lost and we're about to walk through this wood here and there's a couple of old uh, tumuluses or tumuli in here I've walked through this is local to where I live I've walked through here many times and never knew they were there until I started researching the book so it's that adds to your local history. Hopefully we'll be able to show something when we find them. Quite old, you know, proper old burial mounds in the middle of the woods. So, uh, you want me to go that way? Can I? That way! I think we've just found the tumulus or the burial chamber. You think it's here, Tim? It's here, yeah. Oh, yes. Well, well, you wouldn't know that was there, would you? No. Now, this is a, a national monument listed on the um, Heritage website. Um, it's described as a Roman barrow and a Bronze Age bowl. So, the monument includes a Roman barrow and Bronze Age bowl. Uh, Steep-sided Roman barrow stands at a height of approximately 1.3 metres. I would read from that then that it was originally a Bronze Age barrow that the Romans have reused. Yeah. It just amazes me how many times I've walked through. This is a local woods to me. I've walked through here many, many times and I've never... You, well, you, and, and it, you wouldn't see it. Yeah, unless you come off the path and look for it. Unless, yeah, unless you're looking for it because someone tells you it's there. But literally, it's what, 10 metres off the path? Yeah. You no. wouldn't know. Uh... It's smiling. Keep it running. Just go back there a minute. Yeah. You know what that means, don't you? Vermin no. You don't know what it means. It means you mustn't bring your wife on the walk. <laughs> <laughs> don't you dare edit that out. You're a brave man, Tim. I am. I just like I used to have a full head of hair until she kept hitting me. So we're Old Nebworth, past the Litton Arms, and then down into Nebworth, and we're, we're the, the walk finishes at Nebworth Station. So again, the idea of this walk is that we, we have places of transport. So anyone who wants to do it without a car, we'll be giving you the opportunity to use trains or buses or whatever to uh, uh, do, the, do the walks. Last part of the day. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, we're using the uh, short route to finish. So this is our last part of the day. This is the Litton Arms. Named after the family, the Litton family who owned Nebworth, the Nebworth estate.
and uh, if you've ever heard the phrase that the pen, the pen is mightier than the sword, that was one of the littons who uh, mouthed that, believe it or not. Right. 